CataractCoach.com. Liquefied Lens Cortex Aspiration. So releasing the trapped lens milk decreases the capsular risks. We've showed you this technique before, so let's we'll emphasize it here again. So white cataract, you make it poke into the anterior lens capsule and with a cystotome. And now let's see, going in with a cannula and aspirating. Look at all that liquefied lens cortex that was removed. Going from the other side as well, and you can aspirate more. Remember to rock the nucleus. We've talked about that because there's still liquefied lens cortex behind the nucleus between the nucleus and the posterior capsule. So important to release all that fluid. So great job here. Now you can go inside and get the rexus completed. A lot more control. You got a lot more control at this point because you don't have that pressure from the liquefied lens cortex pushing anteriorly. If that pushes the nucleus up towards the anterior lens capsule, it can induce that argentator flag sign. Look good looking capsular rexus here. And again, I can never get enough of the white cataracts. Those are my favorite. It's what got me into ophthalmology in the first place. And again, it's, I think it's the best miracle in all of modern medicine. Take a patient who, like this, with bilateral white cataracts, is completely blind. At best, light perception. And the patient can leave your surgery center with great vision. That's fantastic. So let's see the technique here. Fago Pro buzzing in. Chopper going around. Nice chop technique. Rotating again. Yes, we've obviously sped the video up so we can be efficient here. But beautiful technique. You can certainly see very efficient and mover movements here. Here you go. Nuclear pieces being aspirated very easily. Go, go, go. Again, it's not really this fast. We've sped the video up because we know our cataract coach viewers have short attention spans just like me. So now going inside here, nucleus comes out. Again, I'd put the chopper smooth end towards the posterior capsule to protect it as this last piece come, comes up. Because remember, there's basically no or minimal cortex there to weigh down the capsular bag. So again, efficient nucleus removal, beautifully done. Hey, now, while we're getting ready for the next part, let me tell you about the Cataract Coach Podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. It teaches you how to be a more successful ophthalmologist by interviewing every week for an hour amazing ophthalmologists so we can all learn from each other. Check it out. I promise you'll love it. Now, here we go. So, my manual cortex removal. Okay. Probably very little cortex in the back here. Switching hands. There's some maybe on the left side or superiorly. More viscoelastic to push out any pieces. That looks fine. Looks like the viscoelastic is HPMC, hydroxypropylmethacellulose. That is uh, a, a very uh, l low viscosity and easy to use and store viscoelastic. There we go. Last little piece. There's a little nuclear chip. You can push that into the IA probe port. And now once it's cleaned up, get the lens in the eye call it a day. Now let's talk about briefly, well, how are you doing lens counts in these white cataracts? Well, obviously, it's hard to do an optical method, so you're going to have to do an A-scan. Now, you say, well, should I do A-scan immersion? That's supposed to be more accurate. Well, that helps because then you don't compress or push on the cornea and get a shorter than anticipated axial length. So you may get a more accurate result that way, but you have to. You know, you could actually just do applanation A-scan. And the thing about this, even if you end up slightly pushing on the cornea and getting a shorter axial length, what does that mean? Well, it means you'll calculate a slightly higher IO power that is needed for amitropia, so the patient may end up a little myopic. That's okay. I promise this patient here, who had bilateral white cataracts, if this patient ends up plano, he or she will be thrilled. And if the patient ends up minus one, equally thrilled. In fact, probably more useful for around-the-house vision, around-the-world vision, right? I think minus one is a great place for a monofocal lens to give a really great range of vision. And so... Beautiful case here. I'm glad you enjoyed watching it. Remember, you got to decompress the capsular bag in an intumescent white cataract. Beautiful case. There's the end. Remember, check out that podcast, an amazing podcast, and you will learn so much every week.